Welcome back to Destroyer 1320. Today we're going to review some products from Super Clean. Stay tuned. Super clean, sent us over some stuff to try out. We're gonna help go ahead and try and clean this. Uh, well, this neon needs a little bit of help. Hey, Burr, go ahead and roll that footage of the before. So what we're going to do today, we're going to use the all-purpose wheel cleaner. This is for good for and safe for all wheels. And we are going to use this foaming super clean. I've never done this on a car like this, and we're going to try it out and see what happens. Always read your directions. When you're using a high-powered cleaner such as super clean, make sure you check out these directions. You don't want to go messing up your car. Now, as it says here, to avoid damage. Uh, damaging surfaces always pre-test on an inconspicuous area for surface integrity and check to see if the color is affected. Make sure the surface is cool and dry as possible, which in the summer in Arizona, yeah, make sure you uh, do this uh, inside or in a shaded area. Cover the surface with super clean in the appropriate strength, allowing time to dissolve grease and grime. Do not allow it to dry on the surface. Rinse thoroughly and dry as needed. Depending upon how you're using super clean, wear gloves and eye protection. Uh, for more safety tips, go to superclean.com. As you can see, I just lightly am spraying over the top of it. I'm gonna go ahead and use a sponge and move it around more. But just from spraying it, I mean, look at what it's already lifting up. See that stuff already dripping down? This stuff's pretty incredible. I mean, you can see it change in color as it uh, starts to eat all that yuck. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and spread this around. We're gonna see what we can do. Now it's time for us to tackle these wheels. Let's see what this super clean wheel cleaner can do. So it said to wet the wheel down, so we wet the wheel down a little bit, probably put a little more and start to dry. But if you look, I mean, that is built on brake dust from two years ago. This car has been sitting a long time. That stuff is caked on. It's been baking in the Arizona heat. Let's see what you got, super clean. I gotta say, I really had my doubts on uh, this stuff coming off. These are the stock plastic uh, hubcaps that came on the car. 
and that brake dust was caked in. Now it did take us three times of applying it and I just used the sponge and, and scrubbed it a little bit. This stuff is, is pretty dang impressive. You got my vote, check that out. Yeah, it's not perfect, but some of it's burnt into the plastic, but look how much better that is than what it was before. All right, it's my brother Dan here. He's getting ready to, Dan IT guy, for all you guys know him on YouTube. Yep, this is my little crappy neon. <laughs> Let's, We're uh, gonna go ahead and spray into the hood here and see what happens. Go for it, brother. Now we're just gonna spray it with this. We're gonna hit it with a sponge and we'll spray it off with our little sprayer and we'll see what we get. Here's the after. Just got done spraying it all down. That is a major difference. Wow. Like I said, all we used was a sponge, not a whole lot of elbow grease. As you saw, my brother was, you know, just wiping stuff gently. You don't have to get nuts, but you can get results like this. Pretty impressive there, super clean. All right, here we go. on to something a little bit different than the vehicle we're gonna try and clean up my brother's grill here As you can see it's uh been sitting out in this Arizona mess and yeah it's ugly this thing dirty dirty we're gonna be using the super clean foam once again for this let's go ahead and see what we can do So as you can see, works on a multitude of different surfaces. This is stainless and then some painted surface on the side. I mean, that stuff cleans up real, real nice. So let's go ahead and give this a try. Let's see how good this floor absorbent really is. Oh no, oh geez. Well, good thing we got the absorbent. Let's give it a shot, see what we got. So let's go ahead and uh, Take a look at this stuff. Look at that. It's kind of like a sawdust consistency, but it's got some extra love in there. Let's see what it does. Take a closer look. Let's see what this stuff's doing here. Yeah, it's soaking it up pretty good. It just, as you saw, I just poured it on there. I'm gonna let it set for a second, and then uh, what I normally do with floor dry. I mean, everybody has their own way of doing it. What I normally do is, is kind of grind it in a little bit, so it really gets down to the surface of the concrete. And uh, yeah, let's let's uh, push this stuff in here with the broom a little bit and see what we get. Well, it's really starting to change color now. It's almost looking. Well, it looks wet for sure. You can 
see how much that's absorbed. I mean, it turned almost into uh, like a clay type consistency, but boy, that stuff really works. Let's take, uh, take a little closer look here, see what we got left. You can see it's just got a little bit of shine to it. If I take a towel, just slightly go over it. That is way better. Wow. So I think I'm gonna do something different here. See this yuck right here and I got a mess right there from one of my other oil changes. Let's go ahead and take our little foam cleaner here. Let's see what it does to that concrete stain. All right, so I went ahead and, and sprayed this down. Let that soak in there. Let's see what it does with this concrete. Hopefully it'll clean it up and uh, get rid of those years of garbage. Well, there's a little more right there. Let's spray that a little bit. Of course, I may be making a mistake. This will be so clean, I'll have to do the rest of the garage floor. <laughs> let's see what happens. All right, it's been about two minutes. Let's go ahead and start wiping this up and see what happens. Yeah, I'd say it pulls up some of that stuff. You yuck. Let's let it dry for a minute and see what we got. So it's pretty much dried up now, but you can see that took the stain right out of that floor. Wow. Even spraying that stuff just on the concrete worked. Pretty impressive cleaner, gotta say. I'd like to thank Super Clean for sponsoring this video, sending us products so we could do a review. I uh, hope you guys like this video. Leave me a comment down below and uh, let me know what your thoughts are. If you are interested in your own bottle of Super Clean, I have this brand new one here with the sprayer. I will give this away. All you have to be is a subscriber and just leave me a comment down below and you will be entered to win. I will do a giveaway on December 16th. So stay tuned for that. Once again, thank you Super Clean. Man, this stuff works good. Got to go get you some. Get it all over the place. I'll leave links down below where you can click and buy it online and have it shipped right to your door. See ya. Thanks, guys.